Here's a fun little quote that I read recently. When you've written your headline, you've spent 80 cents out of your dollar. The quote is by David Ogilvy, who's considered the father of advertising around the world. Now, of course, this was in reference to the advertising world, but the same is true for the search world as well. Because in the search results, users don't have much information to make a decision whether they should click through your website apart from the headline. So apart from optimizing your content, you should also spend some dedicated time to optimize the headlines on your website. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with the power of Autonomous SEO's Headline Analyzer. Let's go. So I'm inside the admin area of my WordPress website on the post edit screen. I've written down a post called Lemon Curd Recipe. This is the post we'll be working with. I also have all in one SEO installed on my site. If I scroll down to the bottom of this post, you'll see AIO SEO settings. It's giving me general, social, schema, link assistant, redirects, and advanced options. Now, if you don't know what all in one SEO or AIO SEO is, it's a powerful, powerful SEO plugin, which you install on a site, and then you can optimize your website for SEO. That means search engine traffic. So you have general settings, you have social media optimizations, you have schema optimization, you have internal link optimization, you can manage redirects and you can have advanced settings. So it's a lot or it's a very, very powerful uh, plugin. But the feature that I'm going to be focused on this video because the demonstration is about that is optimizing the headlines of your post. Now you might not see the headline optimizer here because it's not present in this menu. It's actually off to the side menu, which I'm going to bring on the screen right now. And you see here are two different options that are both coming in from All-in-One SEO. This gear icon is All-in-One SEO settings. So it's similar to these settings. You can also edit these settings on the side, but we are interested in, in the headline optimizer, which you already see with the H icon. I already have that enabled or clicked. That's why you see it's, it's uh, uh, selected and the SEO headline analyzer is being uh, shown here. What is the headline analyzer? It helps you optimize your headlines by giving you uh, intelligent recommendations on how you should change your headline or what kind of headline you should write. So headline analyzer is not just a uh, do this. It's a step-by-step it's -step optimization process. So inside the headline optimizer, I'm seeing multiple different options. So I'm seeing the current score option, which is the score. Previous score, what is it? I'll talk about that. You have word balance, you have sentiment, you have headline type, character count, word count, beginning, ending of us, and search preview. So there's a lot to work on, and uh, that's the beauty of headline analyzer inside All of SEO. It, you, it gives you lots of data to work and create a beautiful and powerful headline. So let's start by talking about what the uh, different uh, uh, data points here are. So the first one is a headline score, which is the overall score of the headline. If you click here, SEO analyzer will give you overall score to the headline. So right now it's a terribly written headline, although it is on point, a lemon curd recipe uh, completely defines what the post is about, but the overall score is not that great, just 31. And saying that a very good score is between 70 and 90, for best results you should strive for 70 and above. So the first step of this headline optimization process is to get the score above 70. And that's an easy, uh, I say, metric to understand, right? Instead of uh, giving it or giving you a weird combination of weird recommendations, there's a simple score that you can just follow that, hey, if this is about 70, my headline is pretty decent. So this is the first step that you can uh, look at once you actually start making changes to your headline. Let's also look at some other things, the word balance. So word balance is, okay, it could be better. What is the word balance? It's a combination of words that you utilize in a, in a headline to create a powerful headline. So what all in SEO's headline analyzer is telling us that, okay, you should use a mix of common words, uncommon words, emotional words, and power words with a mix of 20, 30, 10 to 20, and 10 to 15%, and at least one power word, which makes for a great headline because you can uh, attack, or okay, I'd say you can include some sentiment value or in include some sentiments in the headline and also give it some uh, very big weightage when it comes to uh, attention grabbing factor, right? So these are again recommendations that we can follow. Then you also have the sentiment analysis. And so all of us use headline analysis is trying to analyze the sentiment of the headline and it's also telling us that hey, positive headlines usually have a bigger impact or bigger clicks. So if you have an option, because in this case, uh, the recipe cannot be positive or negative, but if you have the option, a positive headline will have a better effect. Then you also have the headline type. This In this case, it's general, but let's say you have listicle, you have objective or different kind of headline types. It's just giving you an idea of what headline type you have. Also, character count is too short. I'm not using too much characters. And also, the word count is not enough words. Of course, the headline is pretty short. We'll make it or we'll fix it. Beginning and ending words. This is an interesting thing. All in SEO tells us that most readers only look at the first and last three words of a headline before deciding when to click. Now, in this case, the headline itself is the three words. It's not great. But what you'd be paying attention to is how the headline is starting and how the headline also ends. So both are equal or both should be paid attention to. All right. So there's a lot of recommendations here. And there's also a search preview, which you can look at how the headline will look in the search results. But right now, 
let's go back on the top and let's start actually optimizing this headline and trying to come up with different variations of the headline and see how uh, SEO Analyzer uh, gives us a better score. And then we'll try to optimize uh, the headline again using the dedicated recommendations. All right. So let's say lemon curd recipe, I name uh, a variation of the headline can be quick lemon curd recipe. Let me just wait for a second for headline optimizer to actually grab it or I'll update the post or it automatically does it. So quick lemon curd recipe already has a much better score than the previous headline. Let me also change this to, let's say, easy lemon curd recipe. Let's wait for a few seconds once again. Okay, it's also uh, a similar score to the previous headline, but let's say uh, lemon curd recipe, five steps to tasty, lemon curd recipe oops i'll change it to this okay so all is telling me that this headline is not great or not uh, excellent compared to the previous headline let's also try something else uh how to make how to make delicious lemon curd And that's it. I already striked a great balance with this headline, 93 score out of 100. And if you want to check out the other scores that I got, you can just click the previous scores and see all these options or all these uh, previous scores as well. So the first original headline for this post was how to make lemon curd. But since I added the delicious word, now the score is 93. So we have how to make lemon curd, lemon curd recipe, quick lemon curd recipe, easy lemon curd recipe, five steps to tasty lemon curd. And of course, this is hitting it out of the park. Great headline out of the box. How to make delicious lemon curd. Let's also take a look at the uh, other recommendations at what all known SEO's headline answer is just tell telling us. Also pay attention that even if you, let's say, not paying attention to the headline answer, just the color of this uh, icon and this uh, section here will tell you if the headline analyzer is doing his job or what the current rating of your headline is previously it was orange but now it's already green signifying that the headline is great already that means above 70 right so going to uh, the other recommendations let's go to word balance it's already great the sentiment is positive right so in this case the word balance let's look at other uh, or uh, the specifications so uncommon words common words emotional words and powers i've already used by accident all of these words so it's telling me that hey the word balance is superb if i take out the delicious lemon curd or delicious word then it's probably going to fail one of these uh, tests because of course delicious is a very powerful word in my opinion so uh just out of like spending a minute of my time on figuring out how to make this headline better i've hit uh, the uh, scores out of the park going to the sentiment it's positive headline type is how to because of course i've included the how to and how to headlines are usually in my opinion uh, more click worthy than just general headlines so that's also something that i'm scoring good on then the character count is telling me that okay it's too short and the word count is good so i might just increase or decrease the character count but in my case or in this case i i don't think so it's needed again my score is already pretty high and this is not a deal breaker for the headline so i might just uh, leave that at the end if i can come up with a better headline but right now i'm just going to move down and say beginning to ending words the beginning words are how to make and ending words are delicious lemon curd now just from looking at these you can tell that both of these are actually right on point if somebody's searching for uh, lemon curd recipes or a variation of those keywords how to make and delicious lemon curd both are very attractive and will entice the audience and thinking oh this is the exact topic I'm looking for. Let me click through this headline and let me figure out and let me read the article and I'll follow this recipe. And the search preview also, also tell us that how it will look like. So how to make delicious lemon curd, beautiful looking uh, headline in my opinion, much, much better compared to the previous headline that we were working with. So if I just want to spend more time optimizing that and getting a better score, it's not probably going to make a huge difference to the uh, number of click through rates I'm going to get because uh, most of the work has already been done. 80 cents on the dollar has been spent. No need to spend the rest of the 20 uh, cents uh, figuring out the headline. But just to give an idea, what we did was we looked at the recommendations here uh, coming from all in SEO's headline analyzer. And just by doing some variations of the headlines, a couple of variations, I was able to understand precisely which of the headlines was the most appropriate for this topic because the specific recommendations coming from all in SEO helped me exactly make that decision very easily. And you can see that right here, I just tried out a few different headlines and the most uh, or the best headline just jumped out to me uh, and uh, all in SEO helped me make that decision. Again, 
once again, we had a beautiful looking SEO score, which uh, our headline score, which gave us an overview of how uh, beautiful, how powerful or how impactful the headline would be. Then we had the word balance. We had the sentiment value. We had the headline type analysis. We also had the character count, word count, beginning and ending words and the search preview. All in an easy to understand, easy to follow package. And just by comparing this headline with the previous headline, five steps to tasty lemon curd, you can see or you can imagine how big of a difference this makes to the overall piece when somebody uh, looks at this in the search results. Easy to follow, very easy to understand, but very, very impactful when it comes to overall optimization of your blog post or any kind of post that you're writing on your website. Beautiful, easy, powerful, excellent. If you like this feature, then make sure to check out All in One SEO. It's a powerful suite of SEO features combined in a very nice, uh, nicely packaged plugin that you can have on your website today. So check out All in One SEO. I'll leave a link down in the description of this video. And if you have any questions about All in One SEO or the headline analyzer, leave them in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this, if you liked this, learn something new, hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning easy to follow along WordPress tutorials just like this one. I'm Yuvraj from WP Beginner and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.